Welcome back everybody. It is great to see you all again. Um, today's quick video, I want to answer a couple questions that keep popping up in the comments, as well as show you a few updates to my workflow. So one of the questions I keep getting is how do we save the PSD files and how does that get back into Capture One? And that was the one thing I neglected to show in my last video, linked above as well as below. So let's jump into Affinity Photo and I'll show you how. We're gonna click on Preferences and then down here, you're going to see the enable save over imported PSD files. That is not checked by default. Note the warning though. And this is actually one of the reasons why I've made some changes to my workflow. And I'm gonna get into that in just a minute. But to use PSD files, make sure that you've clicked on the enable save over imported PSD files uh, toggle and then click close. And that's it. We're ready to start working with PSDs. Let's go back into Capture One and I'll show you the round trip process. So in Capture One, what we want to do is click on our raw file. After we've made our necessary edits, we right click and choose Edit With and Affinity Photo. Now it's very possible you might not see Affinity Photo or any other third party program listed in the Edit With command. In order to see those programs, you have to go into Capture One's preferences. Let me show you. So click on Capture One, Preferences, and then on the very far right, you're going to see this plugins icon. Click that and then ensure that your program is listed in this list and checked. Once you've ensured that that program or any other program that you want to use is checked, now you can use the edit with command. So click on edit with affinity photo, choose PSD 16 bit and whatever other settings you'd like. And then we choose edit variant. So what Capture One has done here is it automatically opens the PSD file that we just created in Affinity Photo, but it has also added that file into your library. And once we're in Affinity Photo, we can make our edits. So right now I'm just gonna clone out a couple of the, uh, the, the boogers up here in the, in the ceiling. I'm just gonna do my in painting tool, go to current layer and below. I created a new pixel layer here, and I'm just gonna paint over the wall acne or boogers as I call them, um, the distracting elements that I know that my clients like to have me remove and um, clean things up. And so for the sake of this video, let's just call this image done. We're gonna do Command S or Control S to save the image as. So once that export has been finalized, you can close that image, go back into Capture One, and then you can click on that file and see that the changes have been automatically updated. Okay, so what do you do if you need to go back into your PSD file or your TIFF file and add additional layers or rework some of your retouching? The way to do that is with the open with command. Now in Capture One, we just simply right click and instead of choosing edit with, we choose the open with command. Now the thing to remember is open with will open the file as it is. Edit with will create a brand new file for you. So open with affinity photo, and now we can work on our image as we have it. And so let's say the client wants me to get rid of this light here. I will choose the in-painting brush, current layer and below, click on my clone layer, and simply brush this guy out. Okay, so once that's done, it's no different than the previous round trip. Once you've saved it, it'll automatically update in Capture One. At the beginning of my video, I mentioned that I've made a few changes to my original workflow. The biggest change is in the file types that I'm working in. I was originally working with PSDs so that I could maintain the layers and also possibly use those PSDs with a retoucher. Um, but I found that layered TIFFs work much better. I don't have the compatibility issues that Affinity Photo warns about with their save as uh, command. And so I've been moving away from PSD and using TIFFs. Okay, so in order for you to do layered TIFFs, it's very simple, it's the same process. What we do is we go in we, we right click and do edit with, and this time we choose TIFF. So Capture One's gonna do the same process as we did with the PSDs. It's gonna open up the TIFF file in Affinity Photo, but at the same time, create and add your TIFF file in your library. So once we've made our edits in Affinity Photo on the TIFF file, we save that file. Now Affinity Photo is gonna give us a prompt if we want to save with Affinity Layers or not. So we will save that with Affinity Layers, that will then export that file and automatically update it in Capture One as you see here. 
Hopefully that was helpful to everybody. Uh, if you have any further questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, feel free also to reach out to me via my website if you have greater concerns or, or you want me to get into some detail. Also, let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in future videos. But until next time, thank you again so much for watching. God bless.